Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect beef stew. The writer of this recipe says, Since everyone can appreciate a good beef stew recipe, I've only taken it upon myself to make my best even better, ready to serve in only an hour under pressure. Let's start by cubing 2-3 to three pounds of beef chuck roast. In a large dish, add 3 tablespoons of flour and season with salt and pepper. Toss this with your hands to coat the flour with the seasonings. Now coat each beef cube in the seasoned flour. With your pressure cooker's lid off, Heat a tablespoon of olive oil on saute until it is sizzling. Now place the floured roast in the cooker and brown on each side. In a large measuring cup with one and a half cups of beef broth, add two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, a tablespoon of store-bought minced garlic, two bay leaves, a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, and one teaspoon of dried thyme. Now whisk everything together. Pour this mixture over the beef. Securely lock the cooker's lid and set for 75 minutes on high. Now measure two cups of baby carrots. Have six red skin potatoes. Chop three stalks of celery into one inch pieces and cut two small onions into wedges. Perform a quick release to release the cooker's pressure. Add all the vegetables to the pressure cooker. Resecure the cooker's lid and set for five minutes on high. Release the pressure and carefully remove everything from the pressure cooker except the cooking liquid. Now make a slurry by adding a tablespoon of cornstarch to two tablespoons of water and mixing it well. Stirring constantly, add the slurry to the cooking liquid in the pressure cooker. Stir this and simmer for two minutes to thicken before stirring in three tablespoons of butter until it melts. Now smother the meat and vegetables with the gravy before serving. The writer of the recipe says, I like to add a quarter cup of dry red wine to the cooker in step three, which gives an even meatier flavor. Thanks for watching. Ah, delicious. Can't wait to dig into this.